Hi guys, uh, today's lesson is looking at um, probability using a die or two dice. Okay, probability obviously is the chance of something happening. And probability is worked out by using this formula below. Now I wouldn't worry too much about the terminology just yet. As we move through this, it will become uh, much more apparent and uh, much easier to understand. So obviously at the moment it says probability equals favorable outcomes over total number of possible outcomes. So what does that actually mean? Well, the total number uh, of outcomes, let me just get this back in order. Right, so total number of possible outcomes. So total possible ways that the die or dice can land. And then the favorable outcomes is the number of ways I can get what I want. Okay, I'm sort of keeping it pretty straightforward and easy for you. All right, so let's have a look first at one die. Okay, very simple example here. If I throw one die, what's the probability it will land on a six? Okay, so looking at that, first let's look at the total number of possible outcomes. It's always um, useful to work that out first because it makes um, your understanding a little bit better and, and it, you can get to the answer much quicker. And there's less mistakes, obviously. Okay, so the total number of outcomes. It's a dice. It has six faces. So there are six possible outcomes here. Six. Favorable outcomes. Now, what does favorable outcomes mean? Uh, what does it mean? Well, so what does favorable outcomes mean? Well, let's look at what the question is asking us. It says, if I throw one die, what's the probability it will land on a six? So we're looking for it to land on a six. That's what our favorable outcome is. So we look at it and say, how many of the faces on the die have a six on them? Well, there's only one, okay? Because it's a normal die, the one, two, three, four, five, six, it only has one. So this is quite a straightforward example because we can now look at this and say, the favorable outcomes that we want is one and the total number of possible outcomes was six so our answer is one sixth. Okay, it's a fraction one sixth. You can say one out of six. Obviously, if it was a fraction that um, um, needed simplifying, you could simplify. I you had something like two over six, you could simplify that to one third. Okay. All right. So let's have a look at a slightly different example. Again, just using one die. If I throw one die, okay, we're still on one die here. What's the probability it will land on an odd number? Now we're interested in odd number, so that's our favorable outcome, odd number. So again, total number of possible outcomes here is six because we know that the dice has six faces and favorable outcomes. So now odd numbers, so we have the number one, the number three, and the number five. So instead of now one, we have three possible favorable outcomes. So if we got one, three or five, we would say we've got our number. So now when we fill in the little blanks here and work out the probability, our favorable outcomes is three. And the total number of outcomes again is six. So now I would simplify that to a half. Okay, again, you can say that's one out of two. You can also use percentages if you need to. So this could be presented as 50%. Okay, so 50% is fine. It depends what the question is asking for, so answer it appropriately. Okay, so now let's have a look at two dice together. If I throw two dice, what's the probability that both dice will land on a six? So that's me throwing the dice out of my hand if I'm playing a game and seeing that they both land with six and six, or a double six. Okay, what do you think about the number of possible outcomes here? Do you think it's six 
as it was with a single die? Or do you think we just have 12 because we've got two die, it'd be doubled? Or do you think it's some other number? Let's have a look. In order to do this, what's really useful is to use this grid. So I'm going to use a grid showing die 1 and die 2. And I've also, underneath, shown you some combinations of what can happen. A lot of children will come up with the answer that it's 12. But let's have a look at what you've got. So what you could have is that the first die here is 1. And the second one is also 1, so it's 1 and 1. But then you could also have the situation where the first die is 1, but then the second die is 2. So it's 1 and 2. And again, the first die is 1, but the second die is 3. First die is 1 again, but this time the second die is 4. The first die is 1, and it's 5. And you can see what's happening. First die is 1, and it's 6. So you've got 6 different ways those dice can land. However, that's not the end of it, because what you can get next is that the first die could be on 2, and then 1. Second die is on 1, 2 and 1. Then you get 2 and 2, 2 and 3, and so on. So you can get 2 and 4, 2 and 5, 2 and 6. Then the next one, this 2, will become 3. So going through this, you can see quite clearly that what you're going to get is a combination of 6 by 6, which means there are going to be 36 different ways that those dice can land or we call 36 different combinations. Okay, so how many total possible outcomes are there? Well, there's actually 36. Favorable outcomes, how many ways can I get six and six? Well, actually, if we go back to here, notice that the six and six match here. So we can only get one one way that can happen now there's other ones for if you looked at three and th three and four so for three and four you would get a three and a four there or you could get a three and a four here so there would be two possible outcomes but here for six and six you're seeing that the answer is one okay so moving back to trying to work out this now we know that this is one so a favorable outcomes is one and it's out of 36. So the answer here is one thirty-sixth. Okay, I hope that's clear. So now let's look at the quick method. The quick method is broken down like this. It says, the question is there, if I throw two dice, what's the probability both dice will land on a six? That's quite important. So if I break that down, what we can do is to really focus on this bit which is, what's this question actually asking me? It's saying, we want a six and we want another six at the same time. The and means together. In mathematics, when you put down and, you get a multiplication. Okay, so what you're really doing, is you're working out the probability of the one die on its own landing on six, which is one-sixth, the other die is separately landing on a 6, which is 1 out of 6, which we calculated earlier, and you're multiplying them to give you an answer of 1 over 36. So that's another method you can use, that if you're looking for a probability of two things happening at the same time, you work out the probability of one, you work out the probability of the second one separately, and then you multiply them, and that will give you the probability of both events happening at the same time. Okay, so that's two die uh, being thrown at the same time and giving you two sixes. Another example to look at here is what happens if we throw these two dice, but the probability now that we're looking for is that the total score will be seven. So what we're saying is we throw them, we take the two faces that are on the top, add the numbers together, 
and we want the total score to be 7. Now we know that the total maximum total is 12. So another way of again doing that, the best way to do it is to put it into a grid, similar to what we did before, but this time we're going to add the numbers. So we know that we could get 1 and 1, so that would give us 2. We could get 1 and 2, that gives us 3, 1 and 3, 4, notice the patterns, 5, 6, 7. And here 2 and 1 will give us 3, 2 and 2 is 4, again the pattern's there, so you just fill this table out using the patterns. You can start to see the patterns already, 2, 3, 4, if you want, 5, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And as a double check for ourselves at the end, we want to make sure that um, it gets to 12. Okay, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so just be careful when you're filling it out. Make sure we don't make any mistakes. All right, so there we are. We've filled out um, our grid. We can see what the totals would be. Now, looking at our question, and I've again shown you some uh, similar sort of things that I showed you earlier where the different combinations are and how the dice would um, land. All right, so how many total possible outcomes? Well, we know now that, that would be 36 because there are two dice. Favorable outcomes, how many can I get? How many ways can I get a total of seven? Let me just change my color. So notice now, what we're doing is we're looking for the sevens. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so if you look, we can't see any others. So there are six possible uh, outcomes for us for a seven. Okay, now, finishing question off. Probability then, favorable outcomes is six because there are six different ways we can get the score of seven and total outcomes was 36 simplifying that will get you one sixth so we would say the probability is one sixth or one out of six okay i hope that's clear and hope you've uh, enjoyed the lesson thank you for watching